All right, we're going to talk about uh, doing some sand animation. We have to create an underlit situation. So we could use something like a, a light box, um, you know, a, basically a box with a light bulb uh, in it with a trans translucent surface. Uh, and you can build one of these. Okay. It's not very difficult, but uh, we will just do something that we can build ourselves quickly and cheaply. All right, so we're going we're gonna to need a piece of glass. I have a... Um, you know, just a picture frame. Um, so that's all you need is, is something from, from a picture. Uh, you could probably go and get a five by seven, but you know, this big from a dollar store, probably for a dollar or $2. And you can just disassemble it and use that glass. It'd be, uh, be the quickest, cheapest uh, way of getting some glass. You'll need some sort of light. Um, we could use mirrors and other larger lights, but I think it's pretty easy to get something like an LED, um, something that will sit, you know, flat like that. As I said, we're going to be, need to have a translucent surface, not not a clear one. Um, so we're going to we'll we'll see what we can do with just one sheet of paper. I'm going to just attach a sheet of paper to the underside of the glass, uh, and I'm going to flip this over. It has to be the underside. You don't want to be animating on top of the paper. So uh, like I did before, I'm going to use some just some books to suspend uh, the the glass in this case off the surface. Uh, it's not even completely clean. But um, now I've just got this suspended up here and I can take this light that I, I, I purchased. I can put this underneath here. And now uh, it's, it's a bit of a pool of light. It's not perfect. It should be spread out more. And uh, I may have to add more sheets of paper because I can see the individual lights. Depends how it looks, but um, we, we can get this translucent. Essentially we've created a, a, a light box that we can put our sand on top of and create sand animation. I, I, so I just added a second layer of paper, and we'll see if that uh, creates some more. Yeah, we can still. S oh, actually, you know what we're seeing? We're seeing the light above my head. Okay, we're gonna have to turn that off. We turn off other lights in the room, and now we have uh, our light box. So again, I've put a, a stool on top of the table. I just uh, this is a little bit quicker for me. It's a little bit, you know, it's not too steady. But now that the, the books, um, you may not have a stool like this, but I know you have books. Uh, so I just suspended the camera, um, I elastic banded it to the stick as usual, and I, I zoomed it a little bit so that uh, I'm not getting the edges of the paper. So I've got this, uh, I'm pointing at the light table now. I'm going to turn off the, the overhead light, and then uh, I still have a bit of daylight coming in. Uh, it's okay to have a little bit of light, but it should be off to the side and not reflecting in the glass. And now, um, let's see what we could do. I'm going to take a bit of this sand. I gave you sand in little bags. And uh, take a bit of one color here. Put it on there. And uh, well, we'll just start taking pictures. I'm going to take a picture like that. And I'm just going to work with my fingers at first. My left hand is, is taking pictures with the camera, lightly touching it so it doesn't move the camera and um, while my right hand does some movement of the sand. And what we will find is that when the sand is thick, it will become opaque, it will become black. But when the colored sand is thin, we see the color that's there. Um, you will have multiple colors. I think I gave everybody two colors. And um, so they will, you know, if you put them side by side, they will mix, obviously and um, you cannot separate them, that's impossible. You, you take the mixed sand and you put it into a third bag that is just your mixed bag, which you can use for whatever color that becomes. It will become a mixed something. It is just your mixed bag, which you can use for whatever color that becomes. It will become a mixed something. Now, if we're gonna try to make a shape that moves, um, it's easier to use some sort of some sort of tool. I'm just going to grab, and the vibrations are going to affect this a lot, right? So people stomping on the floor, um, the sand will vibrate and move around. You might not see it with the naked eye, um, but you'll see it once you start playing back, especially if you're doing something very careful. Okay, so I'm, maybe I'm going to draw something with the stick end of the. Of the I'm going to draw, um, you know, uh, um, a bit of a horse. Right. Stick legs, I guess. 
Yeah, so it, oh, it's pretty pretty terrible horse, but um, sand sand is a sand is a practiced form. It's it might not come to some of you very quickly, but I've got this horse, and I'm going to take a first picture, and then um, if I want that horse to move, I kind of draw the second leg. I okay, so I'm going to move this leg forward, and then I erase the first leg. I'm going to move this leg here. I'm going to take a picture there, and now I'm going to make its head move upward. So I'm going to I'm going to draw the new head here, and then you then you smooth out. Sometimes you have to add more sand. Smooth out the old head, and then using the the first image used as a, as your guide, um, you draw the continuation of the of the image. You, and you can underlay other things. There are filmmakers who work with uh, oils, um, other things that won't dry out, uh, which are maybe even trickier. Um, and you may want to use razor blades and stuff to kind of pick up uh, uh, things like oil. Sand won't pick up with a razor blade very well, but you can use a razor blade and other sharp edges to move the sand around and get... Um, actually, a razor blade is good because it will help you get a nice straight edge. I didn't distribute razor blades, I thought that, but you can see here, you can use this razor blade and take pictures, maybe I'll start getting, sometimes you can uh, fold your paper in such a way that you can create wedges, um, you can kind of make, make tools that um, um, can pick up, pick up sand, like you may want to pick up sand and move it, using a bit of a wedge that you created with, with your um, with paper. You could even load up. You could even have a bunch of sand loaded into into here and then draw lines. I'm going to take a few pictures here. 